Welcome back to Auto Looks Online. This week we're looking at the 2011 Mitsubishi Outlander Sport. New variation, a cool new model. Huh, you decide. Seriously, Mitsubishi. I know they're trying to fill some voids in their product line, but cutting up a couple inches off the back of the Outlander and saying, hey, it's a new sport model. What? It's hard to call anything at Mitsubishi a sport model. Why? Because most of their designs are sporty enough. Really? Why didn't they call it the Outlander Short? Outlander Stubby. Or they can just call it the OT. I don't know. Go with something else. Outlander Sport. Yeah, I know. It's kind of sporty because it looks a little bit faster. I know you're trying to go up against the new Volkswagen Tiguan for sport appeal. I would personally go with this. Tiguan's kind of cool, but Outlander Sport, you got that evil front end. You know, Evo, evil. Okay. Looking up front, we still see that, yeah, this is a Mitsubishi. Why do I say that? For some reason, Mitsubishi front ends are always fast, cool, but they still look cheap. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the fact that they always add in these weird little notches at the bottom. Like, uh, that. Check this out. Those lines are outdated. You need to dunk those things. Why? Because they kind of remind me of 1990s cars. When they, you know, the bumpers, they're trying to add in some more bumper guards, so they just kind of notched it out, put a channel in, and hey, there we go. Got some more bumper guards. Well, today, these things aren't the coolest. Kind of bring back a cheap old design. I know Mitsubishi's trying to create a new look. You know what? you got to dump that cheap image. Kia did. Come on, Mitsubishi. Let's do it, too. Now, if you cut away from that and take a look at the rest of the front, yeah, we got that big evil front end, the big A-frame grill, as I like to call it. Why? Because it looks like an odd-shaped A, which carries right onto the hood line. Very well done. I always say it'd be kind of cool if this thing bent out and went right to the, the ends. And kind of created a notch in the hood, but then you know, Dodge might like not like that. <laughs> we all know they didn't like it when the F three fifty came out and used the exact same front end as them. Come on, Ford, we all get it. You stole Dodge's design. Give it up. Work on your own stuff. This thing, very evil front end. I love those headlights. They're just vicious, mean, satanic, evil. The problem is, kind of reminiscent of your sedan. Yeah, this is an SUV. We gotta create a better image. We love the front end. We love that image. But, uh, you know, up front, this thing's very sporty. Drop some cool rims, lower it to the ground. You got a, you know, a neat looking SUV. Along the side, you know, very fast line. But you know what? On this thing, that fast line actually does work. Even though it should be brought up to the top of the wheel well, it worked. A little more perfect right there. Handles, uh, maybe you should use a little bit of chrome. Mitsubishi's got to start using a little, a little bit of chrome accents in their vehicles. Maybe some black accents. Like as we saw on our mini Roadster, well, mini Coupe, black accents around here might actually create more of a sport appeal. They also cheapen it a little bit. But you know what? In this red, Mitsubishi red, the thing already looks cheap, especially with those rims. I love those rims, but they look cheap. Add some black accents, or even some gray accents around the bottom of the car. Make all the skirt kit, this, all the way around here, the exact same color as that. Guarantee you'll see a difference. Thing won't look as, as cheap. Work for a lot of other cars out there. Maybe it could work for Mitsubishi. Up front, I'm giving this thing 9 out of 10. Why? Wild, crazy. You're losing a point for cheapness. Out back. Okay. We're looking at something a little different here. Yeah. We all know it's an Outlander. But when you look at the back end of this thing, you kind of think, maybe this isn't an Outlander. Outlander is kind of a flat, rounded back. I know. Those two don't really go together. But it comes right back flat. And the window curves around. So flat, rounded. Now, out back, we still see evil-looking taillights. 
Uh, integrated exhaust. Integrated exhaust on this thing isn't that great. Go with two uh, rectangles or one rectangle. The round on this thing does not go with it. Why? Because it creates a lip all the way around here. Go with the rectangle there. It would look a lot better and flow a lot better. Now, like I said up front, go back, we can color this thing. Make a black or the same color as that. You'll see a big difference in the design, a big difference um, maybe in sales. You never know. Now, as you see from the back end, right here, where your license plate sits, notched in, it, it actually gives kind of an evil snarl to the back end. Sort of gives it the same thing that the front end had. Front end has big grill. This thing has license plate. Back window, well done. Roof spoiler, nice. I love this little effect here. They have notched a spoiler right into the back. Like right into the hatch. Neat effect. Why? Creates a new line. It's not just some flat, boring black back end. They got a notch. Okay, now. Looking at the back end of this thing, you think short, small, tiny. I don't know. This thing's supposed to compete against a RAV4, Volkswagen Tiguan, uh, the new Nissan Juke. But really? Uh, I don't know. Mitsubishi's got some neat things to work on, okay? But really? Can't stress this enough. You gotta make some cool looking chrome rims, not these flat aluminum or plastic looking rims you gotta do away with some of these little notches like the bottom still here just flatten it right up get rid of the notch wheel wells emphasize them a little bit more make them more rounded kind of blend them in a little bit more and use a little bit more chrome that's why on this vehicle i'm giving you a six out of ten okay you got great evil headlights great grill great hood lines great roof line great tail lights but you lose on the fact that it still looks cheap. You don't have the greatest rims. You need a lip hanging around your exhaust port. Okay? Make some changes to this thing. Please, Mitsubishi. We really want to see something that looks good. I can't stress this enough. If you really want to make this thing look good, kind of add some evolution style inspiring to it. That's all you have to do for a lot of your vehicles. For this week, I'm saying, hey, Mitsubishi, it's time to wake up and start realizing that, hey, this isn't Japan. Not everyone in the world is going to think your car is the coolest. Maybe you need to start making it look a little more upscale than it really is.